So, uh, last night I finished doing a plastic gauge um, oil clearance test. This is a plastic gauge. Uh, this is what they look like when you buy them. It's a plastic gauge uh, oil clearance check for two thousandths of an inch, <clears throat> or two hundred thousandths of an inch, and to six hundred thousandths of an inch. Um, my crank journals called for uh, two hundred thousandths of an inch um, clearance for the uh, oil. And uh, when you polish your crank, which I've had done, uh, the crank's been polished. There's a little assembly lube on there, that's what you see, it's not dirt. Um, but the, the crank has been polished on all the journals, and um, when you do that, you have to buy a piston bearing or a connecting rod bearing and a main bearing that's going to match um, what you've polished. So my bearings came and they were um, matched but they were measured 10 over. Um, I'm not sure where it says it here but um, on the packet and when you pulled when I pulled out my spring or my bearings they did say they were um, ten hundred thousandths over or one hundred thousandths over um, sized for stock and when I tested everything what you do is you take apart the plastic gauge um, little container that comes in it's uh, looks like that. That's the plastic gauge. Uh, you cut a size of it that would fit across or just under these journals, undersized for those journals to run um, perpendicular across the journal. Uh, when you set them on there, you try not to disturb them. Um, what you do is you, you install all the bearings on the lower part of your um, crankshaft and then you put the plastic gauge uh, you can do it on every single one of them but my machine shop he said everything was so perfect on my crank that if I just did it on one of them one crank journal one main bearing journal and one uh, connecting rod journal that <coughs> I would be okay if I saw that the clearance was there, that I'd be fine because he machined it perfectly on each one. And he said it came out really well. So, you got to follow your machine shop. <clears throat> um, so you lay the plastic gauge across. No oil <clears throat> is needed for this particular practice. But I laid oil and some engine assembly lube on the bottom bearings where the crank sat. And you don't turn the crank. When you set it in there, you don't turn it at all. You uh, so I I chose main journal three or main bearing three and seven on my motor to do the plastic gauge on, laid it across, and I ended up with exactly um, two hundred thousandths of an inch. So I ended up with perfect clearance. And then I did one um, connecting rod journal, and that was number three. I chose that because it was sitting right next to the other main. Um, journal so I could I could tell that everything was cranked down and and really good on um, that side or that part of the crankshaft before I put that connecting rod on because the clearance between the connecting rod and the in the crankshaft is very 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 specific it's it's even smaller I think it's probably around oh, 400 thousandths of an inch it's very very small so you got to be very careful uh, once you get the plastic gauge on there and cranked everything down, you pull it off, and the plastic gauge has got kind of a paint in it, and it poops across the journal, and however wide it goes um, is based on how many millimeters you have um, clearance. Actually, that was millimeters. This is hundred thousandths of an inch. So if it's this wide, this big one, then that is two hundred thousandths of an inch, and that's where I ended up. If I were smaller, then I wouldn't have enough clearance in the journal and the bearing to get oil into that area. 
so uh, you'd have to buy a smaller bearing so that you'd have more clearance so I'd probably have to go with uh, you know a 20, 20 thousandths of an inch over as opposed to a 10, 10 thousandths of an inch anyway uh, that's the next step so uh, after I did the plastic gauge I put the crankshaft on cranked all the main journals down um, and main caps down and now I'm ready to install all the pistons so that's what's next I've got to clean everything off again um, and try not to touch anything when I clean it off uh, be sure not to nick any of your journals when you're doing this because if you get even the smallest little nick it'll spin the bearing and you'll be toast so uh, we'll check back after the pistons are in thanks bye